The Radio Imaging 101 podcast with Denzel Lacey and Nick Simon. Welcome to Radio Imaging 101, a brand new podcast aimed at the entire radio industry, imaging producers, content producers, producers in general. My name is Denzel Lacey. I'm an imaging producer with Sirius XM in the States. And I'm Nick Schmon, imaging producer from Slovenia. Me and Denzel were in Amsterdam together recently and we were in a pub. We had some fine homegrown Dutch beer. And we said, hey, dude, why don't we do a podcast? And while we're in the pub, we actually tried to record the podcast and it didn't go so well. I've got the recordings here. <laughs> You're going to play something? Yeah, I'm going to play you singing. Good. <laughs> it wasn't exactly in the direction we wanted to take this, but it wasn't that bad. Radio Imaging 101. On this episode, we're going to check out the Imaging Days 2019 in Amsterdam. It is probably the biggest event for radio imaging people and voiceovers from across the world. This year was no different. Lots Lots of great guests, lots of great tips and tricks. Jeff Berlin, legendary voiceover and imaging producer, he gives us the lowdown on what he learned and also some great Pro Tools tips. It was kind of a rare opportunity to collaborate and talk just freely about stuff that pertains to our jobs. James Lawson is lead imaging producer with Hits Radio, part of the Bauer Network. He was a bit nervous, but smashed it. That all goes out the window. Like I had notes for me that felt like I'd taken forever to write them. Nick Carcases is the imaging director at Spin 1038 in Dublin. What did he get up to? I touched on breakfast promos and how I bring my breakfast promos to life. Enda Caldwell is the European reporter for AllAccess.com. He gets to attend events across the world in the world of radio imaging. Is it really worth it? I think everyone is very, very hungry and willing to learn. Alistair Boys of Imager will be giving his thought starter of this episode. Something just to think about. You can kind of recalibrate yourself to the level of your audience Well, then you might have a clear idea on what direction you want to go. Tara Murray, FM 104 presenter in Dublin, Ireland. She tells us the importance of imaging from a presenter perspective. Radio imaging for me really sets the tone for the type of show that I'm about to do. That's all to come on this episode. And to kick it off, we're going to check out some imaging from across the world. Radio Imaging 101. hits. <laughs> The biggest hits. The biggest throwbacks. She's kind of sweet, but mostly she's a sledgehammer of sass and attitude. She's Miranda Lambert, and she's gonna smash your ear holes with one heck of a live show. I'm at a party I don't wanna be at. Scale FM. Merk Beatle, Sun. Scale FM. Future. Sounds. Let's go. Go, go. Diplo. Diplo. Diplo's revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, y'all? This is Post Malone. Post, Post, Post Malone. And this is my new song, Flying in Circles, on Hit 105. Yeah. A selection of imaging from across the world, including Radio 538. We had the Hits Radio in there. Also, the Hit Network from Australia. And Jeremiah Bosniak, he is the imaging director there. And he is great with titles on SoundCloud. That one was called Integrated Intros Ellen DeGeneres Wouldn't Sit Next To. I mean, the creativity in the in the titles alone is amazing. <laughs> So the title of this episode, of course, is The Imaging Days 2019. That's been pretty much the highlight in radio imaging land over the last month. Jeff Berlin's session at The Imaging Days 2019 was brilliant. He had a lot of tips and tricks, particularly with um, Pro Tools shortcuts. And he tells us some of the best tricks that a lot of us saw and didn't know. So maybe there's a lot of tricks we could be using to speed up the work that we do. So Jeff Berlin fills us in on that. What we do is kind of specialized not really specialized. It's radio imaging. 
It's not commercials. It's not YouTube videos. It's not music. Well, unless it's music being used in the radio imaging. And in this case, most people there were Pro Tools users like me. It was kind of a rare opportunity to collaborate and talk just freely about stuff that pertains to our jobs. And that, that's so rare because usually you're dealing with programmers and salespeople that have no idea what you do. And so you have to kind of like modulate your language so that they can understand it. Didn't have to do that in this case. It was so much fun. It was so cathartic, actually. And then on top of that, I learned so much. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and I think I know everything. And no, I don't. James Lawson threw a tip out there that I'm still trying to replicate. He said he learned it off a YouTube video. So I got to find that video because I, I can't really quite do what I saw him do on stage. But I know it can be done and I'm determined to figure it out. Basically where you're sing something and then turn it into a really slick sounding jingle with harmonics and everything using uh, Waves Tune is what he used. Dynamic EQ is a ducking agent instead of compression. So if you wanted to side chain to your voice track and every time I talk, it triggers the ducking of the EQ, the frequencies around where my voice is and everything else in the music bed can stay the same, just as loud. Only the frequencies where I'm speaking are carved out. That was a trick I'd never, that had never occurred to me before. Like stuff like that, just really niggly technical stuff is what I dug the most out of Imaging Days. Um, and then my presentation was more about the creative process that we do, you know, at Kiss 108 because it's all brainstorming meetings and lifestyle, topical, conceptual stuff that the program director, Dylan, wants in there and then how I bring that to life uh, using flash recorders, recording staffers as actors and actresses to do little bits and vignettes that everyone seems to like. So that was my thing. I kind of accidentally did a trick that I do all the time uh, in Pro Tools that I guess a lot of guys in there, even though they're like geniuses in Pro Tools and know far more than I ever will, but they didn't know this one. And this is a trick that's been in Pro Tools since version one, and I've been using it since 1992, and I don't even think about it when I use it. So I, don't, I can't even tell you what it is. I have to stop and try and recreate it. So what it is, is if you're in Pro Tools and you highlight you know, a clip that's part of a bigger clip, so it's just a little piece of a, of a large audio file, um, there's a nudge function in Pro Tools where you can, you, know, you can nudge things back and forth by hitting the plus minus key on the numeric keypad uh, of an extended keyboard, not a typical a laptop keyboard um, and you might already know that one to nudge back and forth using the plus and minus key and it goes according to the nudge value in you know up up top where you have grid and nudge if you have nudge set to one second then it moves it by one second now in, on my Mac if you hit control plus now instead of moving the clip back and forth you're moving the audio inside the clip back and forth the clip the clip remains in place and all of the parameters attached to that clip volume automation clip gain um, you know panning all that stays the same but the audio that it's reading changes in one second increments according to the larger file that it's part of, which can be really handy if you like, you know, you're doing updates like coming up this Thursday, coming up tomorrow, coming up tonight, and you want to, you know, you got to do three versions of the promo instead of like pasting and copying the whole promo, hit control plus and then toggle to the where the voiceover talent goes from this Thursday to tonight and it, everything else will stay in place. It's a real great time saver. And then there's other uh, functions according to that nudge value as well. So you hit control plus minus, it moves the audio within it. If you hit option plus minus, it extends or shortens the right side of the clip by the nudge amount. And if you hit command, this is all on a Mac, I'm sorry, uh, plus minus, it extends the left side, the left margin, by one second. Um, so there's a lot of, and then there's a whole bunch of other keyboard combinations you can do, but there's a, a, a rich palette of nudge features that make it really easy to navigate without using your mouse that I've just always used. And again, I don't even think about it. It's like the tab button. You do so many things with the tab button, you probably couldn't tell me what you do. You just do it intuitively, like the back of your hand. So if that helps anybody, I'm I'm really happy to be able to provide that help. Here's another one too. If you, uh, if you highlight that clip with the grabber in Pro Tools, and then hit control, option, command, and then click on that clip, and you're in, in slip, not in uh, shuffle, it copies that clip ahead of itself. Like, so you paste before instead of after. That can be really handy, too, and I can't explain why. It just is. Um, okay, thanks, Denzel. It was great hanging with you, buddy. Thank you, Jeff Berlin. And not only is Jeff Berlin an incredibly talented voice and imaging producer, he is also a very talented drinker. So much fun with Jeff in Amsterdam. And a random fact a lot of people I don't think realize, Jeff Berlin did a lot of work with Grand Theft Auto and the radio stations on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a quick sample of some of his work from Vice City. A small town in tears. Knife after dark. Rated R for retarded. Hey, listen up now. This one goes out to the team at Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts. Here's another track fresh out of the oven. 
fresh out of my oven. It's some Wang Chung for you boys. Take your baby by the hand. If nobody understands you, we do. Slash FM, music for the me generation. Commercials, bad. Music, good. Flash FM, now with zero commercials. Please help support Flash FM. Send your donation today. So, James Lawson is lead imaging producer with Hits Radio, part of the Bauer Network. He was a bit nervous, but smashed it. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit nervous before I got up on stage. But it all goes out the window. Like, I had notes for me that felt like I'd taken forever to write them. And before I knew it, like, I'd forgotten. I jumped straight into a, a prideful session. I'd opened up stuff. I, I was taking questions. The guy in the front row was giving me, like, a five, ten minute heads up warning. Um, everything just went out the window. Like, you get so comfortable with showing off your Pro Tools sessions and doing what you know best with everyone that it just flew by. That one hour felt like it was going to be really hard to fill, but it just flew. Uh, the thing, though, that makes Imaging Days for me is the people that go. Like, you're housing so many incredible people under a venue for two days. And I think unless they're on SoundCloud, you're probably not going to come across them. And to be able to share so many similar experiences, so many uh, relatable stories, it's kind of refreshing to hear that you're also not the only one that has to deal with some of those things. It opens so many doors for people as well to find new talent, to share inspiration with. And really, if I could sum it up in one way, it's kind of like Christmas for producers for two days in Amsterdam with so many incredibly talented people under one roof. James is the lead imaging producer with Hits Radio in Manchester, part of the Bauer Group. His session was undoubtedly one of the best and a lot to take home from that. Uh, this is Nick Carcases, imaging director of Spin 103 Dublin and he's going to tell us a little bit about his session. I found myself being more inspired for imaging than I probably ever have. Like, it was an incredible experience. And the one thing I will say about imaging days is everyone's at a different level skill-wise and also in their career, but that doesn't matter because everyone has a unique approach towards this job. I was the first one to talk at the Imaging Days and uh, there, uh, look, there was a few ways I looked at it. I was a little bit nervous beforehand, but I touched on breakfast promos and how I bring my breakfast promos to life through production and it's relying heavily on the content the guys on The Breakfast Show do on it each morning. I found that people were approaching me afterwards asking me how I was doing certain things, so I'm hoping that people enjoyed what I had to say um, and uh, it's great to, to just meet other like-minded people. That's Nick Carcases of Spin 1038, the imaging director there, a good friend, and he did an amazing job at opening up this year's conference. Woo! Rock and roll, baby! Christian of WoW Radio Branding in Berlin tells us what he learned and he's even put it into practice. What did he learn? I get new inspiration about processing parts or the master with mid and side options, so plugins like FabFilter EQ to process the center different in the sides or panning plugins to bring different parts in the stereo field like reverbs or put elements in the center like vocal or bass uh, to think about um, the meaning and the highlights of our production first. Okay, so there's so many conferences across the world. You've got the likes of Radio Days Europe and now Radio Days Asia. You've also got the Worldwide Radio Summit in LA every year. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly does an amazing job every year at that. And we might catch up with some of the panelists of next year's Worldwide Radio Summit in the coming episodes. Enda Caldwell is the European reporter for AllAccess.com. He gets to attend all the events I just mentioned. And he tells us why it's important to be visible at these events. You know, I was thinking about this the other day, Denzel, and one of the greatest things about all imaging events is the free-flowing beer. I mean, you know, we could talk all about the geeky, techy, nerdy, anoraki stuff that goes on and all this talk about that plug-in, this legendary filter or preset. That's all great stuff. But we all know everybody goes to these kind of events to have, number one, a couple of days off work. Marketplace for your skills. I mean, a lot of moves and shakes actually happen at these things. It's not apparent at first, but the context that you make at many's the radio or imaging event can prove invaluable within a creative person's audio future. The number one thing I think about any imaging or radio audio event, including podcast days and things like that, is the great camaraderie. 
Yeah, you know, I think you see many gatherings and bars and eateries afterwards posted up on their Facebook and Instagram pages of these guys. They look really happy in their surroundings, which is great to see. And because people are so one-to-one -one in the audio industry and imaging, I think people are delighted to catch up with each other when they haven't seen one another in ages. Like you, Denzel. I haven't seen you in ages. That's probably because I'm locked up in my production dungeon all day. Audio imaging got starters. With each episode, we're going to check out some great tips and tricks and some thought starters. Alistair Boys works for IMG or in the UK, part of Wise Buddha, and he tells us his thought starter of this episode. So I reckon sometimes it's a good idea to recalibrate ourselves with our audience. A good way to do that is looking at the websites and being in the places that you know that your audience likes to look at. If you're in CHR, imaging producer, maybe have a look at TikTok. If you are an AC producer, have a look at some blogs. You know, those sort of blogs that have recipes, but they have like their life story at the start of it. Just absorb the language that they're using because uh, it might not be the language that you're writing in. So if you can kind of recalibrate yourself to the level of your audience, well then you might have a clearer idea on what direction you want to go. Radio Imaging Presenter Perspective. I think it's quite important to hear from radio presenters. They have an interesting perspective on the radio imaging. Tara Murray is FM 104's hit mix presenter in Dublin, Ireland. How does she feel? Radio imaging for me, I suppose, really sets the tone for the type of show that I'm about to do. And I think as a music presenter, most of the imaging that would be used on my show would be quite high energy and, you know, kind of generates an air of excitement and kind of what you're about to do is something great. And I think that really reflects in the way that then I speak and the way that I carry my show through. And it says it to me, it says it to the listener. I think it gets it across to everybody who listens to it. Yeah, I suppose it makes me excited to do my show in a way. Let's go! The Radio Imaging 101 Podcast with Denzel Lacey and Nick Mon. Okay, let's make some sound effects. <laughs> Radio Imaging 101, the podcast, episode one, done. Boom! 30 minutes of recording time, Nick. How do you feel? <laughs> and that's Nick Schmann giving live sound design on the podcast. Download for free now. <laughs> My career is ruined now after this podcast. Fab Filter Saturn is going to be on all of our chains and it's the best plug-in. Everyone is going to sound amazing. What? Saturn? You're putting Saturn on my voice? Yes. Seriously? That's a trick. Denzel just gave away a trick. Really Saturn on the voice, huh? Saturn on the voice, but, yeah. But ever so slightly, probably, right? It's more using it as an EQ, so a lot of the saturation is kind of taken out. Oh, okay. So you use those four uh, four bands there, for those four band controllers? Yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like the high end. It adds a lot of sizzle. This is like your favorite, favorite plugin of them all? Or like a, a category favorite? Uh, it's so This is important. Well, I, I tend to have favorite plugins like every month. Like this month, my favorite is Saturn, but next oh, month. Oh, it's like a song. You, you use plugins as in songs. Like this is my favorite tune right now. Yes. And then, then you yes. have a plugin for that. Okay. That's how I work. I downloaded an interesting plugin, but I had a huge workload these past weeks and I downloaded it because I thought it's going to be very intuitive and that, that I can use it immediately, but it didn't work that way. Um, what plugin? The Mango. It's made by Sound Guru. It's cost 20, 20 British pounds. Uh, and it's an interesting granular synth sampler plugin. And I thought of using it with, with voices, but it's not as intuitive as I thought. It looks really interesting, but I haven't given it not even 10 minutes of time because okay. I thought like in 10 minutes, I'm going to get some results out of the out of the presets. But then I didn't have time and I just went to my trusted old things because I wanted to try something new with a project I did recently, but I didn't try the new plugin on it. Oh, there's one I, I want to get. It's called uh, Soothe. Uh, Soothe is the opposite of Saturn, so it's like the anti-Saturn. <laughs> you want to harshen things, I want to de-harshen things. <laughs> you can use it on the master, you can use it on the voice as a de -esser. you can use it... But I had the demo version and I had a really, really bad recording of a station voice. Okay. And I fixed it brilliantly with it. It's really good. For especially those, you know, around 4K... Those harsh, not nice sounding frequencies. He does a really good job of um, dynamically correcting those or just leveling them a bit. Okay, so episode one is done. Nick, 
jam-packed episode. We're going to have to do this all over again next time. All over? What do you mean? What, what do you, wasn't it just like a one-time thing? No, it's going to be every month, I'm hoping. Yeah, good. If people want to hear more, let us know. Go to the website radioimaging101.com. You made a website already? You're amazing, man. Yeah, oh. website done. Okay. Um, and you can submit your audio tracks and work and you can feature on the podcast. Send us your voice notes. I have been recording for over 35 minutes and it's now frozen as I'm about to save it. <laughs> if this does not save, I am literally f***ed. Coming up on episode two. So going forward from episode two, myself and Nick, we're going to have more of an open and honest debate and conversation about the radio imaging world. Can we do things differently? Can we maybe adopt new challenges and new techniques that we're missing at the moment? So I think that's going to be quite cool. We're going to get people involved. If you want to submit voice notes, go to radioimaging101.com. Submit your voice notes there. Maybe there's something that could spark an idea for the podcast as well. We'd really appreciate if you rated the podcast on your favorite podcast platform, iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, everything. We'd really, really appreciate that. It means more people can get involved, more people can find out about radio imaging, and perhaps we can develop new ideas for the radio imaging industry. My name is Denzel Acey, Nick Schmann. Next time, episode two, it's coming soon. It's a mess. The Radio Imaging 101 podcast with Denzel Lacey and Nick Simon. I'm sorry, man. I'm tired too. That's why I'm, that's why I'm talking bullshit. <laughs>